you know, your life will stay the same on, except the people you meet and the books you read and the places you see. Those are the only things that are going to change your life. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Today we are at the 595 truck stop. We're going to interview Serge the car hauler and learn a little bit how you can make money in the car hauling business. Today we're we at are. 595 Truck Stop and we're out here with Serge the car hauler and his lady. What's going on guys? Hey, thanks hey. for having us. It's a great day in Florida, Miami. It's kind of cold for us, isn't it? Right. You know, 64 is cold. 64 you know, is cold. Yeah, we yeah, woke up today. Cold. She was like, oh, I woke up at night. It was kind of chilly. I was like, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This is um, a Peterbilt 372. They made uh, Peterbilt in 1980s during the fuel crisis uh, put a lot of effort into making the most fuel efficient aerodynamic cab but nobody liked them they called it football helmet because they thought it looked ugly they bought the classic Peterbilt look so as a consequence they only sold 770 units of this cab the 372 from 1989 to 1994 and this particular unit is one of what I believe 20 that was made by John Canepia a racer uh, Canepia design if you look them up uh, where they super stretched the frame 24 feet from front to rear axles and made a race coach out of it so this is one of what I believe 20 so uh, we're promoting Chinese towing as you see on all our sh shirts uh, it's a great way to start yourself in car hauling uh, that company's better than mine so um, you can either work with me or with them it doesn't matter we just want to touch another guy's Ferrari. I heard that. I heard that. So, Look at this. What are we looking at in here? So man? Uh, this is the race lounge. Um, this unit used to pull a race boat. Uh, they don't anymore. Um, and so that's where this pillow comes from. Um, but uh, it's it's got a nice history, uh, racing history. As I post it more on the internet, people keep sending me old photos of where it's been. So uh, this is my license plate collection. Look at that. Uh, everywhere I go, I take a bunch of Minnesota plates with me. That's what I used to do, local towing. And uh, I'd hand someone, I'd see a license plate on a wall at someone's garage when I'm delivering a car. I said, hey, can I have one of your plates? They'd give me a couple. I'd give them a couple Minnesota ones. I have, boom, I got a huge collection now. So uh, if we go to the right here, we got a toilet that actually flushes. I love it. And a shower over there that uh, that's... That works. So Got now, water. are all car haulers living this lifestyle? You can, you can live. Not all of them, but you can. And it. all uh, that's what I talk about on Serge the car hauler. And uh, don't look at my business plan. I heard that. I heard I that. We're not looking. No, no, you we're can not look. looking. You I don't want to look. see all this money right here. You can. <laughs> you can. Yeah, step back. You can yeah, get yeah, a little yeah. glimpse of it, but uh, clips, quick clips. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, the, 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 uh, we're all about business. Here, we got the black light on there, but we keep paddle boards. We're building. It's our like little construction room shop. I love it. I love it. Um, but love eventually, it. we'll be uh, tuning an engine. This is our shopping list. Don't look at it. The cars that we're looking at to race. Uh oh. And uh -oh. Uh, uh oh, don't look so at what, it. It's don't you know it. you know don't like uh, don't look at it. Don't you know look at it. all the cars you wanted to buy <laughs> before, and uh, now you can actually kind of get them okay. uh, one by one. Um, we're back in the lounge. Uh, let's have a seat. Yeah, yeah. You know, your life will stay the same on, except the people you meet, and the books you read, and the places you see. Those are the only things that are going to change your life. I love that. I love that. So, hey guys, so this is for non-CDL car haulers. Uh, it's two car, three car enclosed, uh, under 26,000. You'll make 5,000 a month, maybe 7,000. You know, five to 7,000 a month you can make uh, take home. That's take home to your wife, put it on the table uh, as a driver. Now we're talking as a driver, you're out on the road 20 days in, in a month, 10 days on the road, five days home, 10 days on the road, five days home, 30 days in a month. Um, if you're an owner operator, oh, oh, uh, you can make seven to ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars down to get you uh, started, uh, depending on uh, what kind of credit you have, what kind of equipment you got. So, um, but if you do like a zero down, 
uh, on like a three car enclosed, zero down on any kind of diesel pickup you like. And then you got um, 3,500 or 3,000 you need insurance down payment. It's the first and last month you gotta pay. And so then you're left with a few thousand for whatever other uh, equipment expense. Maybe you need to modify something, buy an extra fuel tank or something, have uh, enough for fuel for the first month. So 10,000 to get started as an owner operator, you'll make you'll make 10 to 12,000 a month. Five easy if you're really lazy like me and just wanna go to the beach a lot and paddleboard. Uh, CDL, CDL car hauler. As a driver, you can make seven to 10,000 per month. Uh, on an eight car soft side, six car lift gate, this is working for the man and um, no responsibility for equipment. You know, you just show up and do a good job. If you want to be owner operator, uh, you can get started as little as 10,000 down. You could get a uh, 35, 35K, 35,000 to like 55,000 um, truck, like a, the eight car enclosed. Uh, with 10,000 down to get you started and that'll give you owner operator to 150,000 sometimes 175,000 a year so that's that's 12 to 15,000 per month you can make as an owner operator on an eight car soft side enclosed uh, or six car lift gate which pay a little bit more per car because they're a uh, hard side trailer um, not soft side however the eight car enclosed soft side is eight cars in close. So both of these, one is six hard side, one is eight soft side. Both of those make these numbers. I love it, I love it. So uh, wow. if anyone has any questions, where can they reach you on this? You can reach me on uh, Instagram, on uh, Surge the Car Hauler. On Instagram or surgethecarhauler.com. So here we got another example I went to from Texas to Northeast. Uh, and uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars. So how did we fit nine in an eight car hauler? Well, somewhere we had a small stop. So there were the amounts, totaled 8,400. Oh, I added the 10,200 from the trip going there. So the trip from Northeast to Texas totaled 18,000, which took, a trip like this northeast to Texas and back takes 10 to 14 days. And so what's 18,000 times uh, 30%? So 18,000 gross uh, times 0.30. That was my driver settlement in 14 days. Divide that by 14. You're not going to like this. You're going to love it. 398 bucks as a driver working for the man, not responsible for any truck repairs or anything. I just tell the dispatcher, hey, I think this is what's wrong with the truck. I'm over here in the area. He goes, okay, I got a hydraulic shop um, that I want you to take it to and uh, you could have a five hour break and I take a rental car and go to Austin, Texas and paddleboard <laughs> again. So here in this, uh, in this um, little map I would draw of my eight car enclosed where I'd put the car, you know, Mazda facing forward, Tesla facing forward, ch Charger facing forward, R8 backwards, because I needed the, the engines all face toward the front. So the R8 has the engine toward the back, so then I'm not overweighted on my drive axle, which is where the, the, the sensitive spot where most of the weight issues can happen. So here, S-Class backwards engine facing and the Ferrari for facing forward so the engine toward the back again more weight on the trailer uh alpha yeah first i had the charger here i guess and now i decided to put it here because i crossed it out so and then the wrangler facing forward because that's the only way you could put a jeep wrangler with the ferrari on top in that trailer so obviously you see there's a lot of um things that have to happen in your mind uh to organize the load because you load them however they come in and then uh, once you got an eight in there, you go to the scale and you're like, oh, I got to reorganize a whole bunch of them. And you draw yourself a little map, which one's second, which one's third out the door, which one's stop eight. And uh, you guess and check and put them in and then go on the scale again. And uh, it looks right. And uh, you now you drive for two days. You know, so yeah, it, it could take a half a day for you to carefully unload them, eat one by one, 
without scratching. But you know, you're that's what you see sometimes when you're at a truck stop. You see a car hauler. He doesn't want to talk to nobody. Don't you dare come up to him for a YouTube in interview. But I have um, because they're <laughs> focused on this. Overall, guys, you guys are over here. You're doing your thing. Yeah, you're a car hauler, 10 years plus experience. Yes. Uh, what would you like to leave people with that want to get into car hauling? Uh, just get into it. Become a car guy. We all want to go fast. Some pop pills, some pop bottles. We solve our problems with wide open throttles. And you can <laughs> uh, open up those throttles a little bit sometimes. Uh, <laughs> don't, no, don't tell the customers. Just kidding. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a car guy's dream come true. If you love cars, you want to be around them, you know, this is a good way to be around them and make some good money. You can have another Ferrari in the trailer every week and you can check out all the nice models, you know, without everyone down your back, I ain't balling you at a dealership or at a car show. It's a car show on wheels. You know, you go through the back door to car shows, to dealers, and you get to see all the cars you want to see. So, uh, yeah, go for it for that, and the money is there, I promise. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.